I'm Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Cody. Lee. Cody Lee! Whatever happened to Cody Lee? Is he still a singer? Hey guys, it's Corey, and for today's What's Hot Topic, I want to talk about an absolute music legend from the 14th season of America's Got Talent. His audition was seriously the most epic moment in Got Talent history. Let's dive into how his career came to be, what he's done since winning, and what he'll be doing soon. Will he be coming back to the AGT stage? Keep watching to find out. Cody Lee was born with optic nerve hypoplasia and had a life-saving surgery at only five days old. Since then, he was diagnosed as autistic, and on top of being autistic, he's also blind. But both of these factors do not take away from his talent. He is extremely talented when it comes to singing and playing the piano. He has a great musical expression, perfect pitch, and a passion on stage like no other. People have even compared him to Elton John on stage. Their stage presences are so similar. They both sit at the piano and have a wow factor when it comes to their talent. Cody Lee has an audio photographic memory, so he's even able to recall a song after only hearing it one time, which is absolutely insane. There are only about 25 people who possess his extraordinary ability. He was 22 years old at the time of his America's Got Talent audition and was brought onto stage by his mom, Tina Lee. Hi, mom. Oh, I'm hi, Tina mom. Lee. Oh. Hi, Tina. How hi, are you? She mentioned that her son is blind and autistic, and she said that they found out he loved music at a really young age. So as soon as he started singing, she realized her son is an entertainer. Through music and performing, he was able to withstand living in this world because when you're autistic it's really hard mm -hmm. to do what everybody else does it actually has saved his life cody lee told the judges he was ready to perform and he definitely did not disappoint just look at simon's face i think that describes how he was feeling perfectly cody lee was amazing and gabrielle union thought so too from there, Cody Lee went on to win the 14th season of America's Got Talent. He received the $1 million prize and a headlining show in Las Vegas. And he even told us what he'd buy with the million dollars. I will buy lots of grand piano in every color. That sounds like a lot of pianos. Cody Lee was the first blind person and first known autistic person to win the show. And fun fact, he wasn't exactly a stranger to the Got Talent universe before auditioning in season 14. In season 13, he went to a live taping to support his friend, Michaela Phillips, who ended up being Heidi Klum's Golden Buzzer of the Year in season 13. While Cody Lee was there, he actually got to do some karaoke, which producers seem to have taken note of. So after winning AGT, Cody Lee went on to perform a headlining show at the Paris Theater in Las Vegas. This year, the AGT Live Tour featured other season 14 contestants like The Unbeatable, Ryan Nimiller, and Detroit Youth Choir, and even more. During this time, Cody Lee signed to Simon Cowell's record label, Psycho, as well as Columbia Records. In October 2019, he went to Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia to perform at their graduation ceremony. And while he was there, he went tubing, horseback riding, and he even got to ride on a big green tractor. In November 2019, Cody Lee performed with Glee star Lee Michelle in Washington, D.C. at the Autism Awareness Gala. Since winning AGT, he has made sure to stay very active on social media. Right now, his Instagram has 387,000 followers, his Facebook page has 511,000 likes, and his YouTube has 300 and 81,000 subscribers. His YouTube is filled with singing, vlogs, and fun events like celebrating his birthday. Now, on a channel update from over a year ago, his brother even talked about how he has been working with, uh, on an album. album. I really can't wait to see once it finally comes out. It's gonna be so 
good. Soon after this video, in February 2020, he came back to the AGT stage once more for AGT The Champions finale. In this performance, he sang Sign of the Times by Harry Styles. But once April hit, he stuck to mostly virtual performances. During this time, he reworked songs like I Wanna Hold Your Hand by The Beatles and posted them on his Instagram. I gotta wash my hands. He even went as far as having multiple virtual concerts at this time. He had one virtual concert with his band that raised money for the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism. And he had another where he performed solo on his Instagram Live. He then performed on the AGT stage once again in August 2020. He performed during the quarterfinal results show in season 15. In this performance, he sang Break My Heart Again by Phineas. I don't know about you, but I got chills from this performance. Since then, Cody Lee has made more covers, performed other virtual concerts, and even started posting constantly on TikTok. He has gained over 866,000 followers on that platform. And here's kind of the things he posts. Recently, the 25-year-old has announced two Things. First, he announced that he will be joining the upcoming AGT Live Las Vegas concert series alongside some other familiar AGT veterans. And second, he announced that he will be returning to the AGT stage once again to perform at this season's live results show. He'll be performing on August 18th alongside her. Together they will sing her song, Hold On. I am so excited to see Cody Lee back on stage and I know you guys are too. Is Cody Lee one of your favorite AGT acts ever? Are you getting tickets to the AGT Live Las Vegas concert? Let us know in the comments down below. He seriously has had such a successful career and I can't wait to see him continue with it. But that being said, let me know if there's anything that I missed about his career in the comments below. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media and make sure you head over to talentrecap.com to stay updated on your favorite competition shows and their stars. If you want to follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar. And thanks so much for tuning in. Now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.